Well, hello, my honor suits. Oh, my goodness. Only three weeks to go, and this is the last full week. We have five days this week, four days next week, four days the week after that. Now, uh, this video is going to go over uh, homework that I've given you on Thursday and Friday. And Wednesday, I guess. And then uh, uh, we'll have a second video going over the new stuff. So two videos today. So sign pi over 2. One way to change it is you could go 180 over pi and multiply. Or you could just put pi as 180. Woohoo! So it will be sine of 90, which that's a quadrantal angle. Pick a point. So pi over 6 is 180 over 6 is 30. And we all have the chart. Do, 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 do. And then, okay, 5 pi over 4 be 180 divided by 4 is 45 times 5 is 225. That's third quadrant, tangents positive. All students take losses. And the reference angle is 45, so tangent 45 is 1. Uh, 180 divided by 3 is 60. Negative 60 is in the fourth quadrant. Sine is negative because sine is y over r. Y is negative, so it's negative squared of 3 over 2. 540. Uh, notice 3 pi, you could just say, hey, 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi. It's a quadrantal angle, negative 1. 5 pi over 6, 180 divided by 6. <coughs> Excuse me, 6 is 30, times 5 is 150. Good. 7 pi over 6, 180 divided by 6, times 7 is 210. Third quadrant, sine is negative, so it'll be negative sine, reference angle is 30, so negative a half. And then the last three are there, so you can just look off your notes. Then I gave you four problems to graph in period, excuse me, in radians, <laughs> one period in radians, see from this, woohoo! So, one-fourth, you take two pi divided by a fourth, that's eight pi. One-fourth of that is two pi. Remember, sine is zero, and I made the one really tiny because we need two pi is, uh, three is pi, so two pi would be six of those. Oh, my goodness. So, it would be zero, and then it's one, and then zero. Negative one, zero. We oh that's horrible. We look how it's so stretched out. Then cosine pi. Oh, I tried to trick you. It'd be two pi divided by pi, which is just the number two. Now it's still two radians. Now when I was a kid, you used to have to put an R there for radians, but they don't do that anymore. But they used to. So if this is 1, now 1 fourth of 2 is a half. So we'd go a half, 1, uh, it's a little bit out there, isn't it? 1, 3 halves, 2. So cosine is 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. We... Now, 4, that'd be 2 pi divided by 4 is pi uh, over 2. So that's our period. 1 fourth that is pi over 8. So this is going to be very tiny. So I want to make my 1 a lot bigger. So, uh, let's see, pi over 2 is half a pi, so that would be about 1 and a half. Fourth of that is pi over 8, then 2 pi over 8 is pi over 4, 3 pi over 8, just keep going by 8, sine is 0, so notice how this is so squeezed. We've squeezed it. Then the last one, 
2 pi divided by a half to find the period as 4 pi. So that would be zoop, zoop. 1, negative 1, 2, 3, kind of looking ahead here. So uh, 4 pi, so pi is 3 of those, so about there, pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, cosine is 1, 0, negative 1, 0, 1. So I'm going to dash it because this has two parts to it. Now I want to change the amplitude and multiply everything by 3. So if we have both things shown, you always do period, then you do the amplitude. So multiply every point by 3. So 0, that'd be negative 3, 0, 3. So as I twirl this around and make it nauseous, Ooh. Now notice, this goes on forever. So if they said graph between 0 and 8 pi, okay, that'd do 5 pi would be 0, 6 pi would be negative 1, just keep going. I'm just showing you one period of it. So negative pi, oh, that's horrible. That should be farther out, but is there. Then negative 2 pi, if they asked you, I'm not. So this is video one. Video two would be on something new. Thank you very much.